Greetings, hi, the War Owl greets you. I just got a new mouse and a new mouse pad because I wore out my old ones. I, I, bro I, bro I broke them. And I also wanted to try out something different. Uh, we train our brains daily to own dem noobs. Hours and hours of practice where the smallest little change in our equipment can drastically screw us up. Now, you must look at your mouse as an extension of your body, an extension of your arm, a part of you. Now, I may be a little bit abnormal here. I go through mice like Call of Duty goes through sequels. Uh, as you see here, this is a collection of mice there's one down here too, see? That I have destroyed through use. I call it my mouse graveyard. See, I pick up my mouse a lot when I play, just like Flusha, and then I slam it right down on the table because I'm an uncoordinated ogre. This time, it's gonna be the Zowie EC2A. Now, I've never used a mouse from this brand before, so I'm just getting used to it. My suggestions, when you're looking for a new mouse to buy, what you're gonna be looking at is gonna be the size of the mouse relative to your hand size, and then the click sensitivity. So if you're gonna use something like the Dooley's, which is a, there we go. I don't know why you would use them, except maybe I made a video saying, hey, maybe you guys should try these out. How well the click is to your own personal preference. That's super important to me. So yeah, the size, how it goes on your hand, the grip that you're using, I use a palm grip, uh, you can use the fingertip, you want like a smaller mouse. Uh, if you use the claw grip, because you have freaky long fingers. The sensors in these mice, if you buy a gaming mouse, they're pretty much all gonna be good enough. At this point in the technology, you don't have to worry as much about the sensor. I bet some of the, some of the purists on like overclock forums are gonna get mad at me for saying that. But it's just, it's a reality of the situation. If you buy a mouse for Counter-Strike, no matter what brand, Logitech, Zowie, Steel Series, anything like that, guys, the sensor is going to be good enough. So you're looking at the size of the mouse and the click sensitivity. My, that's my opinion on it. It's personal preference. This mouse pad, ladies and gentlemen, you may be wondering what the heck is this. It's an artisan mouse pad imported from Japan. Super smooth. I'm not a weeb or nothing, I just like quality. Now you gotta be really careful when you buy a mouse pad like this, um, especially if you're importing it, because there's a lot of knockoffs and you can get screwed pretty easily, so be really careful. If there's any experts out there who wants to let me know if this one's a knockoff or not, I'm pretty sure it's the real deal, but uh, I said I liked quality, not that, I'm, not that I'm good enough to recognize quality. Whenever you adjust to new equipment and new settings, it can be a frustrating experience, like all of a sudden you just suck at the game. It will take time and training for your brain to adjust, but trust me, it will adjust. You'll probably be even better in the long run for the experience. Always dive in head first. Never make incremental changes. For example, if you want to use a lower sensitivity, don't slowly adjust your sensitivity over time, pick the sensitivity you want, and then change to it permanently. Constantly changing your equipment and settings is a surefire way to be a permanent noob. Great. Now all I have to do is get my opponents to stand there and stare at me and let me kill them, and I'll be golden. You know those aim training exercises you do because you're a disciplined counter striker? Well, when you change to a new mouse, you gotta do those same exercises for hours and hours until you finally adjust. If you just hop right into a competitive game with new equipment, you run the risk of getting tilted, because you'll definitely be playing at only a fraction of your skill level. In terms of mechanics, your brain will still be there. You'll know what you have to do, you just won't be physically capable of it yet, and that's incredibly frustrating. Remember how I said in the introduction that the mouse has to be an extension of your arm, part of your body? It's like you've had one of your appendages replaced with a new one. Just not as drastic as that, obviously. Listen, the mechanics of the game are easy. Anyone can learn them through training. If you want to really get good, learning the mechanics and drilling them is something that is required. It's a prerequisite. For everything else, there's War Owl videos. It took me about two hours of training my aim to get back 80% of my skill, then an extra week of consistent practice to get back the other 30%. But wait, War Al, you realize already furiously slamming your keyboard to post a half-baked YouTube comment? That adds up to more than 100%. And... That's right. Sometimes when you change your equipment, the time you put into adjusting it can improve your game overall. Look, the equipment doesn't make the player. But it sure helps. 
Holy crap, I thought I started it. I was doing better than I've ever done before, and I was wondering, why hasn't it stopped? I've definitely done a hundred kills. <laughs> Be patient with yourself as you adjust to your new equipment or your new settings or whatever it is that you're changing. You have not lost your skills. It just takes time to adapt. Thank you folks very much for watching. I am the War Apple, and I still have no closer. Yo, you like my gamer bling?